Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a makeup declutter. I am so excited to be doing this video. It is literally a fetish for me to watch these types of videos. I just find it so therapeutic. It is just so calming for me to watch. I don't know why this video definitely isn't for everyone. But I just want to say that all of the products that I am getting rid of are either going to my friends, family or Lifeline or any sort of charity or anything like that. So they are going to a good cause. I am making sure to sanitize anything I am giving away to not my friends or family because they can have the dirty version of anything. I don't really care. And of course, I just want to say I'm not bashing any brands if I'm getting rid of any of their products. Every single brand in my cupboard I love. And a lot of products work, a lot of products don't. Like, that's just how makeup brands go. So I just thought I'd give it to people that would use the products more. So that's really the only reason I'm doing this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Whoa. Okay, so you are on my vlogging camera. And you are on my big camera. So we can sort through all of my makeup. These two drawers, we have my mascaras. So let's start here. You want to make sure you always go through your mascaras just because after like six or so months, they're gonna be off anyway. So first thing we have right here is the MAC Lashes Maximizer. This is just like a white primer product you put on your lashes before mascara to make them longer, but I never reach for this. I've used it literally once and I didn't notice that it was like amazing, so that one can go. Next up, we have this Lux Mascara. This is the brand Avon. I just don't think it's really like necessary to keep this one because no one really knows this brand, so there's no point promoting it in my videos. The next one is this Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. This one is really good, except it is super wet. Like, it just transfers everywhere. So we do have some Essence Mascaras, and I am going to keep these ones just because um, when I do drugstore tutorials, I want to make sure that everyone can, like, follow them. You know what I mean? So some people don't want to get high-end products, so I'm going to show drugstore as well. So we have a few CoverGirl Mascaras, which I love so, so much. Ooh. So I'm going to make sure they're not dried out because I have had these for a while. Um, yeah, that has like fluff on it. I think I did a hack video with this mascara and I put cotton balls inside of it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get rid of that one in case I get fluff in my lashes and um, that could cause my eye to be itchy and then my whole makeup's ruined, so thank you. This one's the same one, just different packaging. This one is wet. Yes, I'm keeping that. Then we have my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascaras. These are my favorite mascaras of all times. These are nearly empty. I probably have a few more uses out of those as well. I'm not gonna waste anything if I love it. Sorry. Then we have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascaras. I think these are new from when I went on the Hayman Island trip. So let's see if they're wet. Yep, that one's good. I do like these mascaras as well. I just should have only had one in here at a time. So I'm just gonna put one Oh my god, I thought I'd stop recording. I was like, no. I'm just going to put one in my drawer down the bottom so I can just use one at a time. Then we have three Better Than Sex mascaras. Again, I don't need all three in this drawer. That's just silly because it's just making it bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to put the little one in the other drawer down here. And then I'm going to see what one is the wettest out of these two. That one looks good. Oh, so does that one. If you're wondering, there's like a massive box behind me where I have like makeup that I'm yet to use and stuff. So here it goes. And of course we have two roller lashes from Benefit. Oh my God, that is fully empty. That's going. Then we have another one that's probably empty. No, that's all right. Okay, that's all for the mascaras. I'm gonna keep the rest. Then we have all of these sponges right here. I definitely use these beauty blenders every single day. Um, the Real Techniques one is good to kind of change things up. And then this Morphe one is pretty good as well. But I am gonna get rid of this Rimmel one. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of these two Morphe ones as well. Cause I don't know, I've already got this one here and that's enough for me. So I just got all of the new Benefit products. So I can chuck my old ones out. Um, I've had these for so long anyway, so goodbye. We have here my brow pen by Anastasia. I don't really like this. Like I just, I never reach for it. I know I'm never going to use it. I want to keep it, but I'm not going to use it. So what the heck is the point? I need to stop ordering all this stuff. This is going. Okay, now moving on to my pomades. We have two from Tarte and I only really need one. So I'm just going to see what color suits me best. So I could definitely never see myself using this one. I'm pretty sure Michael used it last time. So maybe I'll give it to him. And also we have this one from NYX. I have had this for literally over a year and I've never used it. So see ya. Okay, so let's move on to the second drawer. 
We have all of my eyeliners and concealers. Let's start with all of the NARS Creamy Concealers. They've sent me all of the range and obviously I only need a few um, depending on like how tan or light I am. So I am going to keep these two right here, Chantilly and Medium One Custard. And then I'm going to get rid of these three here because they're too light for me or too pink. Next, we have the Naked Skin Concealer. Oh my God, this one surely has to be off. I've had it for so long, so that one can go. We also have this one from e.l.f. And honestly, I just don't think I'm going to use this one. I just, I don't really like the stick formulas because they're so drying under the eyes. Obviously, if they can stay in this little... Um, package then they're probably going to be drying under the eyes we also have this um, makeup forever one this one is the full cover i've had this for ages i never use it so i'm going to get rid of that one so we have this born this way concealer that looks a little too dark for me this one's in deep tan so i'm going to get rid of that one i might keep this essence one just because it's affordable um i never use this Dream Lumi by Maybelline. I literally have never ever used it um we have another stick one from elf that i don't really want um, this one from e.l.f. was, oh, wait, did I like that? I might keep that one because I can't remember if I liked it or not. Um, we also have another one from L'Oreal that I'm going to get rid of. So, I'm not going to keep this one from Pixi because, as you can see, it is seriously just peach. And I don't really have too bad of dark circles under there, so it doesn't really come in handy for me. Then we also have this one from Napoleon Purtis. I'm not going to keep that one just because... I don't really think many people even use a polyan anymore. Okay, so let's take it back a notch into this drawer. We have all of my perfumes, which I never use, but obviously they smell so good, so I'm not getting rid of those. I have this Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub, which smells so beautiful. Oh, I just want to eat it, honestly, but I have never used this before, so... I'm going to get rid of it. If my lips are dry, I just put some lip balm on them. So I don't know why I wasted my money there. Um, next, we have this lip scrub by Tarte. Maybe I'll keep that one because it seems like it's an easier formula to work with. You just literally brush it on your lips. I don't really like having to put my finger in products like the Jeffree Star one. So I'll keep this one. Next up, we have the MAC 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. I'm just going to see if this has color to it because... I always like to conceal my eyes. Yeah, no, it has no color to it. So it's not gonna fix any like veins or anything popping through. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I bought that because of YouTube, but it didn't work out for me. All right, let's move on to the eyeliners and stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of these ones from Nude Sticks just because they are really thick. So I don't really, I mean, you can put this um, on your eyelid as an eye base, but I don't really ever do that. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I'm also gonna get rid of the other two uh, nude sticks as well. So in this drawer, we have all of my bronze kind of eyeliners. Um, I don't know why I have so many. I love the Stila eyeliner, so I'm going to keep that one. The ColourPop ones are really good. I don't like this color from um, ColourPop, so I think that's like a purple, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of this MAC liquid liner. I never use liquid liners because I suck at eyeliner. This one from LA Girl doesn't have a lid, so that's not very sanitary. I'm going to get rid of that. So back here, we have some more liquid liners. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Urban Decay one because it is very liquidy. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and pick out the ones that I don't like. So I don't like this pinky color. I don't like this navy or this one, all the gray, all the silver. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this next drawer is like, needs help. Okay, so let's start with this section right here. I think there's only a few that I wanna get rid of because I've already like gone through them, but I'm gonna get rid of this elf one just because it's too light for a bronzer for me. And then in this section, we have two of the photo bomb powders. I don't like these ones. Um, they're supposed to be a powder foundation and if you guys have seen the other videos where I was using them They literally don't add any coverage at all and I don't feel like they set the face very well So I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Then we have some from Avon again I don't really think anyone uses this brand at all So there's no point of me using it in videos and I only keep stuff that I use in videos anyway Then I have a NARS powder. This one is I mean, really bad. I don't like this one. I use this in products that I hate video. It does not set the face. Don't like it. Then we have another one from the brand Radical. This is just a banana powder. I don't really use banana powders under my eyes, except they're, if they're in a contour palette, because I feel like that's the only time I'll pull them out is if I go to contour and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll put some banana shade under my eye. So I don't really know what this brand is all about either. So I don't think anyone really knows that brand. Oh my God, I just... 
fucking dropped it. So we do have two um, Kat Von D powders. So I'm gonna give one of these away. I know Rani actually said she wanted this one. And then I have two of the Rimmel transparent powders. I love these so much, but these last so long and I already have one. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. And also I'm gonna get rid of this Australis banana powder because I do have the um, contour kit that has this one in it. Then we have some Bare Minerals powders. Let's see what the colors look like. So I have these two. I'm going to get rid of this one here. That looks a bit too light. Then that one looks too dark. Actually, I might keep the lighter one for when I'm pale because that could work, but the other one's like completely too dark. So that's not going to work at all. Next, we have this one from Makeup Forever. This one's a powder foundation and I never lean towards this one. So I'm going to chuck this one out. Well, give it away. My bad. Oh my God. How could I forget? So we have this one from Bare Minerals. This is a concealer in a powder form, which I think is not the best for me because my under eyes are quite dry so it's going to really cling to all the wrinkles and I just think a powder concealer is they're really going to be better than a concealer in a cream form so this is going then we have this radical bronzer um, I'm going to get rid of that one because again no one really knows the brand this one's a little bit messy because I just got like heaps of packages so it's overflowing so we do have a few things on the top that I already know I want to get rid of because I used them the other day so this Inglot um, Sparkling Dust, I already have two of these right here in different shades. So I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't want double ups. And then we have these ones from Artist Couture, which I think are actually like way too dark to use as highlighters. So I'm going to get rid of these. Um, yeah, I just don't see them working at all. I've swatched them and I don't know, not amazed. Then we have this one from Glow Minerals. Um, oh, what is Oh, this is a banana powder. Okay. Getting rid of that one as well. And then we also have this one from Glow Minerals, which is a highlighter. It's so pretty, but I just, I've used it in a video before and I loved it. But again, no one knows where the heck to get it. Okay, so here we have a um, blush from Too Faced that I'm gonna get rid of just because I think the packaging is, I mean, you know what I mean. And this is probably like a holiday collection as well. So no point using that in videos if you can't get it, girl. Oh, and then this one here, which is a bronzer. My bad. This one's going as well because it's way too dark. I used this in a video the other day and it's like literally orange. It's for people that have darker skin tones than me. So um, yeah, that's why it doesn't work for me. So I'll give that away. We have some e.l.f. blushes right here, which, oh wow, that's like a highlight, isn't it? I might add that in my highlight section over here. Um, we have this blush as well, which is just too shimmery. I don't know if I want that. I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so right here we have some of my um, Artist Couture highlighters. So I don't think all of these shades would work for me. For starters, this one's too dark. Let me have a look. Yeah, that one's in the shade LeBron, so I'll get rid of that one. Let's move on to the foundation drawer. I have so many foundations in here, so let's just go through what... I do and don't want. So let's start over here with the e.l.f. foundations. I'm gonna get rid of this one just because it looks very orange and I don't think that color is gonna work for me. Um, then we have the Luxe foundations again. I've never used these, so I don't really think there's a point on keeping them. Then we have two CoverGirl foundations and this one's my shade, this one's not, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. So right here we have four Urban Decay foundations. I definitely don't need all of them. So I'm just gonna take the lighter shade in here because this one is seriously way too light for me. I know I would never be this pale. I do have two of the Wake Me Up foundations. I do love this one, so I'm gonna keep 303, but I'm gonna get rid of 201 because this one's too pink for me. So back here we have the Pixi um, Conceal and Tints. I've literally had these for so long and I've never even tried them. So let's see what they're all about. Oh, that looks pretty good. If I don't have a tan on, I think that'll be fine. And then I'm going to swatch the other one as well. Oh my God, it's so watery. I'm not keeping this one. Right here we have three Tarte foundations. Again, I only need one, so I'm just going to swatch them and see what color I would suit. Oh, that looks nice. I think I'm going to keep this one right here in the shade medium tan honey. So I'm going to get rid of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and also the Australis shade adjust. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that because my foundation is always too dark. Stay there. Oh my God, can the plane fucking go away? Anyway, so the next one that I have is this Makeup Forever HD foundation. This one is way too dark for me, unfortunately. I've tried to make it work before, but I literally look so orange. I'm so sad that I have to get rid of this one, but even with a really dark fake tan, it is way too dark for me. I'm going to get rid of this Asada Mineral Velvet foundation just because 
it's really orange like that is not my color and it's so thick Oh, I found this e.l.f. Uh, foundation back here, and that's definitely too light for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm also going to get rid of um, one of, oh, two of these. Actually, I'm going to keep these two and then get rid of this one, because this one's too light. Okay, so the next drawer that we have is primers, and I'm going to have to leave it at this, because there's literally so much more to go through, all my lipsticks, my eyeshadows, and everything. So if you guys do want to see more than... Um, Give this video a thumbs up, but let's move on to the last drawer. So I'm going to get rid of this one right here just because I've never heard the brand. So I'm not sure if anyone can get a hold of it. Um, this per correcting primer, I've had this for so long, never reached for it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this one by Nude by Nature. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. All right. So I'm getting rid of my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray just because I love my Urban Decay ones and I'm just going to stick to that. I'm also going to get rid of my Maybelline Setting Spray. We have this one from Radical um, that I'm going to get rid of. And then I'm also going to get rid of my Nivea Men Poche Balm. Oh my God, this is crazy. This like makes your makeup sound forever, but I've had it for a while now. I'm not sure if it's even like good to use on the face considering it is skincare technically. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I do have some other primers that make my makeup sound longer anyway. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one from Purr as well. Correcting primer. Just don't use it. Sorry. Oh my God. My drawer is literally so bare. This is kind of scary. I'm also going to get rid of this um, skin perfecting whatever this is i literally went to go get the eye base from mac and they gave me this instead and i paid for it so bye this is all of the stuff that i just got rid of there is so much in here oh my god look at my hair that is literally crazy anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and of course if you do want to see the other part of this video just let me know because i'd be very happy to do that. I honestly have so many lipsticks just sitting up here that I need to go through because I have so many. Um, so again, these are all going to a good cause. I'm not just chucking them away because I feel like it. I mean, I kind of do feel like it because I never use this stuff. But um, people are going to be using it more than I ever would. So that's all that matters, right? I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!